Hello, welcome to another Chris's Beer Reviews and we're off to Brewdog, believe it or not. I really do Brewdog beers on this channel these days. Uh, but I was in Asda today, I had to pop in there this morning for some cat food. And I saw this in a box that hadn't been opened yet and it wasn't on the shelf. So I opened the box and took one out. Uh, it's called Way Out West. It's a collaboration with Buxton Brewery. So it's a West Coast IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. And there it is. The usual type of Brewdog branding. There's a bit on the side about Buxton Brewery. Something about powerful partnerships, but there it is all the way around. I think it was three quid. I think it was three quid. Uh, there wasn't even a price tag on the, um, on the shelf. It was just a box of it on the shelf, unopened. So I thought, well, I'll open it, we'll give it a go. Now the Asda near me is rubbish. Um, they don't have hardly any decent beers in there, so I was surprised to even see this was about to go on the shelf. So we'll have a look. I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting much from it, even if it is in collaboration with Buxton. It's brewed primarily by Brewdog, isn't it? So let's pop that there, let's have a look at her then. Uh, Quite light straw coloured, one finger head as you can see, reasonable amounts of carbonation. Yeah, it's got a bit of a west, it does look like a west coast, which is good. No super haze in it, which is nice, it does look a bit like a west coast. Let's have a sniff ski. And on the aroma, it smells okay. <laughs> Typical citrus fruits in there. It's, it's nothing spectacular on the aroma, it's not a big juice bomb aroma, it's just a typical kind of citrusy aromas. Quite grapefruit forward I'd say. And yeah, just citrusy. Nothing super amazing but it, but it smells pleasant. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Uh, that carbonation is really busy, really busy. And it smells, the aroma is <laughs> way better than the taste. There's not much going on with that. There is not much going on whatsoever. I know there's some new Brewdog beers going into uh, Morrison's, I believe. I won't be buying those. It's got a hoppy bitterness. It's got a West Coast type finish on the back end. It's got that bitterness. It's a bit, a bit it's definitely hoppy, a bit floral. But flavour-wise, it's it's really poor, really really poor. There's no there's no citrus flavours. There's, there's oh, what, let's have a look. What is, what is this telling us? East Coast Scotland beats West Coast America in this big juicy IPA. Tropical fruits, meld with citrus, melon, and a hint and a hint of coconut. I'll give it a rest. No. It actually tastes malty. It's malty with a with a, a hoppy bitter finish. The big juicy IPA never, never is that big and juicy. On the aroma it's good. The citrus flavours in there are so light. Melon and coconut, give it a rest. They're not in there either. Oh, I don't know why I bother. I really don't know why I bother. I only bought that one just because it was a collab with Buxton. And it's fairly pointless. I don't know what Buxton's role in that was. But it's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just typical brew dog now, isn't it? it? It's just crap, that's crap. No. To, to, to call that a West Coast is insulting. If there's any Americans out there on the West Coast, 
this is awful uh, and if you're in the uk and you're american don't buy this expecting a good west coast ipa because you ain't going to get it uh, that's crap um i've got nothing else to say on it i'm all done i'll see you on the next one take care bye